There are different methods you can use to solve the Rubik's Cube in very few seconds. The most used is the Jessica Friedrich method. The Jessica Friedrich method is made up by four different steps. The first one is this. In the first step, you have to build the cross on the top of the cube and put it together with the central piece of the second layer of the cube. This is how the cube looks like after the first step of the method. The second step of this method is to place four blocks, each consisting of one corner of the top layer and a corresponding edge on the second layer. These two little cubes uh, are a part of the first block this is the second block, the third block, and the last block. This is the second step of the method. And this is how the cube appears after the second part of the Friedrich method. Two layers are done while the, the last one is still uh, scrambled. And this is how the cube appears after the, the third part of the Friedrich method. The fourth step of the Friedrich method is a permute of the last layer so that the cube is done. This is the fourth step, the fourth and the last one. International notation of the cube. There is nothing official about the cube and this is just to identify which part of the cube you have to move when reading algorithms. The notation uh, speaks about the right side of the cube, this part, the left side of the cube, the upside of the cube, the downside of the cube, the front side of the cube, and the back side of the cube. This notation doesn't involve the central part of the cube. We will see why later. The R letter identifies a clockwise rotation of the right side of the cube. R first identifies a counterclockwise rotation of the right side of the cube. I will call first that little sign after the letter. L means a clockwise rotation of the left side of the cube, while L first means a counterclockwise rotation of the left side of the cube. The U letter means a clockwise rotation of the upside of the cube, while U first identifies a counterclockwise rotation of the upside of the cube. The F letter identifies a clockwise rotation of the front side of the cube, while the F first identifies a counterclockwise rotation of the front side of the cube. D identifies a clockwise rotation of the downside of the cube, while D first identifies a counterclockwise rotation of the downside of the cube. The S letter identifies a slice move. For example, FS means a clockwise rotation of the front side of the cube and a counterclockwise rotation of the back side of the cube. Two faces of the cube rotates in an opposite way. In this way, it's just like having moved the white part of the cube down, the central white part of the cube down. F first S means a counterclockwise rotation of the front side of the cube 
and a clockwise rotation of the back side of the cube. RS means a clockwise rotation of the right side of the cube and a counterclockwise rotation of the left side of the cube. R first S means, means a counterclockwise rotation of the right side of the cube and a clockwise rotation of the left side of the cube. BS identifies a counterclockwise move of the back side of the cube and a clockwise move of the front side of the cube. B first S identifies a counterclockwise rotation of the back side of the cube and a clockwise rotation of the front side of the cube. The A ladder identifies an anti-slice move. It's when two opposite faces of the cube moves in the same direction. For example, F A means a clockwise rotation of the front side of the cube and a clockwise rotation of the back side of the cube. F first A identifies a counterclockwise rotation of the front side of the cube and a counterclockwise rotation of the back side of the cube. R A identifies a clockwise rotation of the right side of the cube and a clockwise rotation of the left side of the cube. R first A identifies a counterclockwise rotation of the right side of the cube and a counterclockwise rotation of the left side of the cube.